Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I have the Miro Smart Wi-Fi garage door opener that works with up to three single garage doors and it is compatible with a variety of virtual assistant. The cherry on top is I can control it right from my smartwatches that you will see by the end of this video. So in this video you will find everything that you need to know from installation process to my final review. And as always I have timestamped everything for your ease. So let's get started. If you're someone new to my channel please consider subscribing as I do regular videos for various smartwatches and smartphones, tech tutorials and much more. I just started a new series where I'll review smart home automation technology like this garage door opener and many more to come. So check out the dedicated playlist for smart home technology that you can control directly from your smartwatch which you can find under the playlist tab. Guys, before I start, please check out my second YouTube channel for mobile friendly short video content for all the tech that I have reviewed on this channel. Make sure to subscribe and it's linked up in the card section. So today I have this Wi-Fi smart garage door opener from Miros. I have been using their smart home automation products like the smart bulb, smart outdoor plugs, cables, switches, etc. for quite a while. And I have already reviewed few of their products. On top of the regular smartwatches and smartphone videos, you will find smart tech videos where I will show you how to control them from your smartwatches as well as smartphones via the virtual assistant like Google Assistant, Siri, Bixby and Alexa. With that being said, let's start this review with unboxing, installation process, setup, functionality and my final verdict. Full disclosure, Miro sent out this smart garage door opener to provide my unbiased review and no pre-approval rights were provided to Miro so they are seeing it for the first time right alongside you. Now the one I have is MSG200, they also offer MSG100 which only controls one garage door and there is the MSG100HK that also controls only one garage door but it is compatible with Apple Home Kit. At the back there are all the technical specs like the input volts, dimension, power cord length, wireless standard An important point to mention over here is that it has Wi-Fi 802.11 at 2.4 GHz so a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection will not work. It requires iOS 9 or higher or Android 4.1 or higher. Now in terms of price, this is available on Amazon for 45 US dollars. The other model that I mentioned like the MSG100 is slightly cheaper for 32 US dollar and the MSG100 HK is for 50 US dollar. But as I mentioned earlier, they only will work for a single garage door. So I will recommend this one especially if you have more than one garage door opener. I would personally recommend this garage door opener versus wireless garage door keypads as I find these are more secure than the keypads and secondly they cost about the same. Keep in mind if you want to connect more than one garage door you need to purchase the garage door opener remote accessories which only cost 15 US dollar but this will provide you with an extra sensor kit to connect your other garage doors. Now the prices that I mentioned may change at seller's discretion so please don't quote me on that. But either way the price is reasonably affordable as I have the LiftMaster Security 2.0 and if I were to purchase the OEM Wi-Fi opener kit it would cost me about 150 US dollar. So I personally would still prefer this one. So inside the box there is the Wi-Fi garage door opener itself, the user manual, the charger and the included garage door sensor kit for one garage door with double sided 3M tape, zip tie, screws and a test wire. Now the device itself is very tiny, it's smaller than the previous iteration MSG100 and it's very lightweight, you can barely feel it in your hands. It has a nice strong swivel Wi-Fi antenna and at the back there is a micro USB charging port and three ports to connect your three garage doors. In my case, I only have one garage door, so I will just need one port. There is a reset button, which if you press and hold for five seconds, it will enter the Wi-Fi configuration mode. Now you can check if your garage door opener is compatible with this Miro Smart Opener from the compatibility table linked in the video description, which is quite versatile and broadly compatible. Now let me briefly walk you through the installation and setup process. You obviously need to download the Miros app available on both Google Play Store and Apple App Store. 
and create an account with them which I have already as I use their other products. Next step is to power on the device and wait about 5 seconds until the status LED blinks amber and green. After which you can connect the device to your home Wi-Fi network with the Miros app. When you click on the plus icon on the top right, you'll find a lot of their smart devices where you should see the garage door opener. And you'll find both the MSG100 and the 200 model. Select the 200 and now it will prompt how many doors you want to connect. In my case, it's just one. You can configure other doors later on if you have to. Now it will ask you for a compatibility test. You can either skip it or just follow along. Usually if your garage door opener is listed on the compatibility table linked in the description of this video, then you can go ahead and skip this check. In this test, basically the app will ask you the details of your garage door opener like the name and model number. If the app prompts that you need accessory, then just email them on the address listed on the app and they will send you this remote control duplicator or cloner device. These are basically the universal garage door remote control signal duplicator. And the cable that you see here goes in the Miros unit. So the Miros unit can send the command to this remote control signal cloner to open the garage door. Anyways, you can do a compatibility test on your garage door opener via the test wire provided in the box where you have to insert both the ends of the wire on your garage door opener input socket and see if the garage door opens and closes. You can see in my case the lights on the arrow blinks but the door is not opening or closing. So that means the LiftMaster model that I have is not compatible and I will need that remote control signal duplicator. Before I go ahead and show you how to set up via the remote control duplicator, let me briefly show you how to set up this Miros MSG200 to your Apple Home so that I can control it via Siri. The process is very self-explanatory. You can start it from the Miros app where it will prompt you to power up the device. When you click next, the light on the Miros device should start blinking, after which it will prompt you to connect the device to a Wi-Fi network. On an Android device, make sure you set it up to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network, but on an iOS device, which is in my case, you will see the Meros MSG device, which will prompt you to add it to Apple Home. And you will be instantly prompted to scan a barcode to add this accessory. Apple Home will identify the garage door opener instantly. Again, keep in mind this process will only work if your device says compatible to Apple Home on the box. So make sure before purchasing. I guess mine is a pre-production unit. Currently the one they offer are compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant. Make sure to check out the links in the description of this video to find out the right product for your need. Now it should prompt you to select the location. I will select garage. Now you can name all the three ports to whatever you want. Make sure it's easy enough for Siri to detect. And that is it. Now, if you have directly connected it to Apple Home as shown above, then on the Miros app, you have to click on the top right plus icon to add the garage door opener on the Miros app for your other virtual assistant to access it. Once you do that, in few minutes, all the three garage door will be added on your Miros app. Now, let's see if the sensors are working before we go out and set up via the garage remote duplicator. So go ahead and plug the sensor kit cable in the desired socket. This time around they have included a nice pluggable pin versus their previous models. Now the sensor cable has two component. The blunt wire that is red and black will go in the remote duplicator in my case or if you have a compatible device it will go directly in the garage door opener socket. Second component is the sensor itself, which is magnetic. This sensor is what will let the device know that your garage door is open or closed. So it is very important to test if this works or not before the entire setup. You can see on the app that if I move the sensor apart, the door opens and bring them together, the door closes. With all that being done, let's go ahead and set up this MSG200 device on my garage door opener via the remote control duplicator. 
So let's first set up the sensor kit. I have attached the wired part on the house frame and the magnetic part on the door itself with the provided 3M tape. Make sure to keep them as close as possible for a fail proof setup. Now I ran the cable via the ceiling all the way to the garage door opener. This cable goes in one of the three socket on the Muros device which is powered in via the wall adapter. Now if your garage door opener is compatible then the cable from the Muros device goes directly in the socket along with the clicker cable on your garage door opener. But since my garage door opener is not compatible as you saw earlier during the compatibility test, these cables will go in the remote control duplicator which Meros will send out to you upon request. Now basically what happens is the Meros device will send the signal to this remote cloner to open and close the garage. For that to work you have to pair the remote cloner to your garage door by making the remote cloner learn the frequency of your garage door opener just like you would do to set up your car's rear view mirror home link system. Now to set up in my case I have to press the learn button on the garage door opener and within 30 seconds of that I have to press the bottom right button on the garage door duplicator and instantly the garage door should open and when you press it again it should close. Now that it has been paired, just plug the wires coming out of the Meros device in this remote cloner. The order does not really matter. One important point here is that make sure to pair the bottom right button as that is the one that is wired. The rest are not wired so even if you were to pair those buttons the Meros device will not work. So that's it. Now you can see I can close and open my garage door directly from the Meros app. Now if you have three garage doors which are not compatible then make sure to request three of these remote garage door duplicator as you will need three of them to be paired to all the three garage door openers separately. Now the integration process of Amazon Alexa, Bixby, via SmartThings, Google Assistant and Siri will be identical to what I have already shown in the Smart Outdoor Plug video that I did which you can check it out for more details. But since I have already connected my Amazon, Samsung and Google account, this Smart Garage Door Opener will be automatically added with the other devices. Now let's test Siri out. So as you can see there is no latency at all, it's super fast and notifications are also very fast, Close garage it's door very in instantaneous. Closing the garage door free. Now let's test out Samsung smart things. I'm not wearing my Galaxy Watch 3 today but you can command Bixby from your Galaxy smart watch to open up the garage doors. Again the process is very instantaneous without any lag. This will also be the case for Alexa and Google Assistant, so overall I am really impressed. Now let's see what options we get on the Miros app and wrap this video up with my final say. So when you click on the top right icon, you can see all the ports, in my case it's the port number 3 which I have activated. Here you can see all the options, my favorite is operation history where I can get a complete log of all the activity to see which device opened it. Is it iOS, Android SmartThings, Google Assistant, etc. So I can precisely know who opened the garage door. Kudos to Miros for that. You can also set up a pin which is highly recommended. You can set notifications for open, close, overtime and overnight reminder. Other cool feature includes auto close on overtime or fixed time close where you can even set up a routine. Advanced settings include opening time so if your garage door takes a while to open you can increase the opening time from here. You can also set trigger duration and closing alarm. All these features are very intuitive and helpful. Some cheaper garage door openers lack such smart features and that is what I really like about Miros garage door openers. So here is my final verdict. 
this is a very great device to have. If you don't have the smart garage door opener, as most of the older garage lifts don't have the smart tech in them, even in the newer ones, they have a mobile app to control the door, but they lack the integration with virtual assistant like Google Assistant, Alexa, Bixby, Siri, etc. The cool part is that I have added my wife and other family members on the family list with Google Assistant, Samsung SmartThings, Alexa, so they can control it and I will know who used it at what time. To top it up, you can connect up to three garage doors, so if you have a bigger house, you're still covered. And as you saw earlier, it works great and flawlessly. The setup process is relatively simple, quick and toolless. Now I can directly command my watch on my way home to open the garage door. I can even set schedule and scene to automate the entire process. This is also very helpful especially if I want to warm up my car with my remote car starter on a cold morning. I will definitely recommend this Mero Smart Garage Door Opener as it is very functional. The price is affordable and the installation process as shown above is pretty easy and self-explanatory. It's widely compatible with most of the virtual assistant and the mobile app is very versatile. So if you are looking for a smart garage door opener, your search ends right here with this Mero Smart Garage Door Opener. So stay tuned by subscribing as there are more smart home device reviews coming up. With that being said, I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Also follow me on my other social media network for early preview to upcoming videos and free giveaways. Links are in the description of all my videos. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I'll catch you guys in the next one.